Hello guys, for this tutorial on how to get HD quality on your Dazzle, you will need a Dazzle of course, an S video cable for your PS3 which I got for $4.50 brand new from a dealer on eBay, I'll put the link in the description, and you'll need a PS3. First what you want to do is plug in the back of this to your PS3. in here and then you're going to want to plug these into your dazzle Put it down now they might be easy to put in but you have to push hard to get them in securely because if they're loose they're not going to work now the hardest one is to get in the S video because if you can see there is tiny little prongs in there and on the very top, there's there's a little notch, and you know, that notch is supposed to be in the top middle. And so you're gonna get it in there, very secure. It's very hard to get in. Okay, now we plug the end of the USB on the other side into the computer. Now what you need to do. For the HD Dazzle recording, is you need to unplug the yellow RCA cable that's plugged into your Dazzle. After that, you'll have to download Debut Video Capture Software, which will be in the description. It is free. Open that up. And if your PS3 isn't showing here, that's fine. All you have to do is click Options. And then under 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 name, click on DVC 100 Dazzle right here, and then click device settings. And these are the settings that I use to do HD quality. Make sure everything's the same as you see here. I brought my sharpness down to about seven. I used to have it up here, way up high, but then I realized how bad quality you get. And here around this area, it doesn't really need to be exact. And then that okay format you want that 720 by 480 29.97 frames per second and then I clicked stretch video to widescreen click capture sound and you want the dazzle audio device I don't think much of this matters it's just preferred if you want to use any of those click OK now on your PS3, it's bad quality here just because uh, the preview is way worse than the final product. But you'll want to click on display settings, video output, composite S video. You want 16 by 9. Click X. Set audio output settings, audio input connector slash SCART, SCART slash AV multi, and click. X again, and now you'll want to go where you want to record. I'm doing a Black Ops theater clip. So we will use MPEG 4. That sounds good. MPEG 4 is an MP4 file, which is a HD file that many people use. It's installing, I guess the codec. If you have the debut debut professional trial version, you can use the record as PS3 and then it'll be better quality. It turned to a square, but I think that'll be fine. Multiplayer. And what you would do if you're recording a Black Ops click clip is you'd start it right now and then trim it off later because you'd rather have a little more than not enough. You hit the L3 to get rid of the screen. You do that. Not, not to get rid of the screen. If you can see, I'll show you in a second. It's called the heads up display, which is the HUD. And you will see it right. I'll show it to you. Right there. See that? By hitting L3, you can toggle it. 
Okay, then what you do is you click on the end or the stop button.